Interviewing children is a curse and a blessing. First of all, children are not uh, accustomed to sitting still or looking where you tell them to look. They're very curious kids. And so it's, it's rather hard to interview children or to put children in a documentary. The blessing is that audiences love to look at kids. Audiences love kids' faces and the funny things they do and say. So having children in a documentary is often a real plus. But there are some dangers in working with children. You may not be getting what you want if they're not in the mood or if they're distracted, if they don't feel like talking to you at that point in time. So you just, they just may not feel like giving you an answer even if they know the answer or they have something to contribute. It just sometimes just depends on their mood. Any person under the age of 18 is a minor, so if you're going to shoot an identifiable face of a child that's not on public property, you need to get a release from a parent. Now, oftentimes parents are worried that you're conducting experiments on children or that you're going to do something to hurt the psyche or psychology of the child. So you have to explain exactly to the, to the parents what it is you're shooting and why you're shooting it. Once they understand that, it's usually no problem to have a signed release. The problem with the hyperactive child is that they will wander all over your uh, viewfinder. <laughs> They'll wander all over and won't sit at a mark. So it is very important, if you can, to have them actually sit in a chair. With quiet children, you want to get them in a in an environment where they're comfortable. So that may be with them doing something or just sitting in a room away from other children, maybe looking at a book, looking at like the fish tank. They may tend to be more shy and close down if they're uncomfortable in the situation. So you want to know them really well and know where they're comfortable. When you talk to a child, be sure to be down on the child's level. If you're pointing your camera down at the child, not only will you get the tops of heads, but you'll also be diminishing the value of the child. So if, even if you have to buy a special tiny tripod to get down on the level at the child's size, you should do that because it should be eye to eye, interviewer to interviewee. I really think that people who are interviewing children should become comfortable, interact with the children in their environment, and or let the children become familiar with them because then they're more likely to get answers out of the children that they're interested in. You should use easy, simple words. You may have to repeat yourself several times, but to speak in normal language as if they're a valued person and not a baby. Mm -hmm.